What's going on, family? Today we have ethnic Jamaican brown stew snapper. I can't go to my favorite Jamaican spot, no problem. Let's make this at home. Before we do, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and select all so you're informed each time we upload. Like and comment as well. Now let's jump into it. We're gonna start off by prepping our veggies. We have some nice fresh carrots here. I'm just gonna get them a rough dice. We're gonna go ahead and clean the edges of these green onions. And we're just gonna quarter these guys up. And with this recipe, we would julienne or allumette or French cut the green pepper. Okay, all this means is to cut it into long strips similar to mashed sticks. It's nothing hard here. When you hear these, when you hear these uh, ext extravagant terms, <laughs> it don't mean nothing too much. Okay, it's not, it's not really that hard. All right, look at that. It's very simple. Now we're gonna half our onions. We're gonna go ahead and slice them thinly. So they just melt as they cook down in, this, in the sauce. Got our garlic, we're just gonna dice that up. There's nothing much to see here, folks. It's simple, simple dice, simple dice. Now I have three beautiful red snapper fillets. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to score these guys off. Now, you want to score the fish for two reasons. One, so the seasoning penetrates, and two, so it don't curl up when you fry it. So, you know, we got some, we got some good seasonings we're gonna to apply to this fish. We're just gonna score it up. It's real simple, real simple. Look at those beautiful fillets, though, man. And the flesh is so meaty. That's why I love red snapper. And they just hold up to the, the, the stew process. Okay, I don't like the season on my cutting board, so I'm gonna move this back to my plate. Let's get the cutting board out the way. <clears throat> and we got some Jamaican meat seasoning. Okay, and as you can see, I'm opening up, opening up those four sides so all the seasoning can get in there. We got some garlic powder. You know, we're gonna hit it with some sea salt. And I love sea salt, it's not as salty as the regular salt. We got some Jamaican fish seasoning. And we're gonna flip and do the same thing, family. Okay? Make sure you get your seasonings correct. Season however you feel. It's up to you. I, I like I like what I like, you like what you like, you know? As long as it has flavor, that's all that matters. Now we're gonna heat up our peanut oil and while that's getting hot, we're just gonna lightly flour our snapper. This adds a nice crust to it. You understand me? So when it's when it's in that stew sauce, when it's in that brown sauce, and you still got that little crunch, that little bite to your snapper, man, it just adds so it just adds so much. It just adds so much. Okay. We just like to lightly dust it, man. Do too much. Look at my little dusty fingers right there. I got my pinky up like I'm sipping tea. <laughs> Let's dust that thing off, man. And these, I'm telling you, these red snapper fillets are very, very beautiful. If you can't, if you can't get this from your local fish market, man, you can go to like Publix or um, I don't think Publix has it. Maybe Walmart. You know, or try it with a different type of fish that you know it'll hold up to. I'm cooking, cooking it down in the stewed sauces. All right. So now that the grease is hot, nice and hot, it's jumping. As my, my, my grandfather would say, we're going to put the fish in skin side down. Let's move those over. Let's make, let's make, let's make way for the next piece. Let's get all three cooked at the same time. It's frying nicely. We're gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Now I want y'all to see how beautiful, look at that. Man, that's some beautiful fish right there. Now the fish is cooked down, I'm gonna cook it 
too much because I don't want it like tough inside the sauces. I don't want it overcooked. So, cook it down just enough where it's golden brown. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna just let it sit on the tray here. Let the, let the oil drain out of there. And one thing about peanut oil, man, it doesn't saturate the meat. Now, we got our veggies. They've been sweating for a little bit. We're gonna add our tomato and green chilies to the dish. Give that a good stir. All we did is just olive oil, all the veggies. Let it sweat down. Okay, let it cook down for a little bit. Go ahead and season that thing. Hit it with some sea salt. Got all those flavors in there. The garlic, the onion, the peppers, the carrots. And we're gonna hit it with some organic beef broth. Okay. And this is low sodium, so it's not a lot of salt added to it. We got a lot of flavor going on. I don't need to add super, you know, too much more to it. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of browning. Give that a good mix. And that browning gives it that, 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 that color you want. And guys, we're gonna let this cook down, man. We're gonna let the veggies cook down. Just for a little bit, a little bit longer. It's been cooked down for about, a, about, about 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add our fish right into the sauce. about another 15 20 minutes man just let it slow simmer let those flavors just you know, get into the reach the deep recesses of the fish <laughs> throw a top on that thing and let it simmer for a little bit you know, and there you have it just cook down all you need now is some white rice and you're ready to eat super simple meal tons of flavor for your family there you have it ethnic Jamaican brown snoop snapper don't forget to subscribe hit the bell for notification and select all so you're informed each time we upload like and comment as well till next time family peace